Hello everyone, my name is Saltails and today we will make a jellyfish in Blender. Let's go! First we will select everything with A and delete it with X. Then we will add a mesh cylinder. Change the number of edges from 32 to 28. Click the right mouse button and choose shade out to smooth. Switch to edit mode with tab. Switch to face select with 3. Select the top face and move it down along the Z axis with G plus Z. Bevel it with Ctrl plus B. You can change the number of segments by scrolling the mouse wheel. Select the bottom face and bevel it as well. Switch to selecting edges with 2, select edges as shown, choose vertices and delete them with X. Switch to face select with 3. Select the bottom face, choose vertices and delete them with X. Switch to selecting edges with 2. Select edges as shown and change the view to the right orthographic view with numpad 3. Turn on the X-ray mode with Alt plus Z. Extrude it with E plus Z up along ZX. Fill it with an F. Scale it with an S. Bevel it with Ctrl plus B. Duplicate it with Shift plus D along the Z-axis. Rotate it by 180 degrees. Scale it with S plus Z and move it up with G plus Z. Turn off the X-ray mode with Alt plus Z. Select faces as shown and duplicate them with Shift plus D. Move it up with Z. Click Alt plus E and select Extrude along normals. Extrude it inward. Select all the edges as shown and delete them with an X. Turn on the X-ray mode with Alt plus Z. Switch to selecting vertices with 1. Select vertices as shown. Turn off the X-ray mode with Alt plus Z. Move it down with G plus Z. Switch to object mode with Tab. Go to Modifiers, Add Modifier, Generate, Subdivision Subsurface. Turn on the X-ray mode with Alt plus Z. Click the right mouse button and choose Shade Smooth. Turn off the X-ray mode with Alt plus Z. Switch to Edit mode with Tab. Scale cylinder, if necessary, to hide the internal parts of the jellyfish so that they don't walk out. Switch to Object mode with Tab. Add Mesh, Plane. Move it up with G plus Z. Switch to Edit mode with Tab. Add to vertical loop cuts with Ctrl plus R. Add to horizontal loops with Ctrl plus R too. Select vertices as shown and delete them with an X. Switch to selecting faces with 3. Select faces as I did and insert new faces with I. Switch to selecting edges with 2. Delete them with an X. Go to modifiers and modifier generate subdivision subsurface. Change levels viewport to 2. Change the view to the top orthographic with 7 on the numpad. Switch to selecting faces with 3. Select faces as shown and scale them with S plus X plus 2. Select faces as shown and scale them with S plus Y plus 2. Switch to selecting edges with 2. And select edges as shown. Scale them with an S. Select all with A. Extrude it with E. Switch to object mode. Click the right mouse button and choose Shade Smooth. Turn on the X-ray mode with Alt plus Z. Scale it with S and move it down with G plus Z. Move it and scale it until you are satisfied. Switch to edit mode with tab. If you think it's necessary, right mouse button and choose shrink pattern to adjust the thickness of this part. Switch to object mode. Change view to front orthographic with one on the numpad. Add the mesh, plane. Move it up with G plus Z. Switch to edit mode with tab. Click M and merge at center. Change view to front orthographic with one on the numpad. Extrude that vertex up with E plus Z. Click Shift plus R to repeat that action until you are satisfied with the length of the tentacles. Switch to object mode. Go to modifiers and modifier generate skin. Go to modifiers and modifier generate subdivision subsurface. Change levels viewport to 2. And check smooth shading on the skin modifier. Change view to front orthographic with one on the numpad. Switch to edit mode. Select all with A. Scale it until you like the thickness of the tentacles by pressing Ctrl plus A. Select the vertex on the bottom. Turn on proportional editing with O. Scale it with Ctrl plus A. When scrolling the mouse wheel up, the area of influence becomes bigger and when scrolling the mouse wheel down, the area of influence becomes smaller. So we need in this case to scroll it up a bit. Turn on proportional editing with O. Switch to object mode. 
change view to front orthographic with one on the numpad. Move it down with G plus Z and position to be on the bottom of the jellyfish body. Switch to edit mode. Select the middle vertex as shown. Turn on proportional editing with O. Move it with G plus X to the left by scrolling the mouse wheel. If necessary, adjust the length of a tentacle. Select all with A. Duplicate a tentacle with Shift plus D. Turn up proportional editing with O. Rotate it by 180 degrees with R plus Z plus 180. Select both tentacles with A and duplicate again with Shift plus D. Rotate it with R plus Z. Change view to front orthographic with one on the numpad. Duplicate tentacles again and scale them with S. Continue doing that until you are satisfied with the look and the number of your tentacles. Switch to object mode. Change view to front orthographic with one on the numpad. Add the mesh plane. Rotate by 90 degrees with R plus X plus 90. Click Ctrl plus A and apply rotation. Move it up with G plus Z. Scale it along the X axis with S plus X. Scale it along the Z axis with S plus Z. Go to modifiers, add modifier, generate subdivision subsurface. Change levels viewport to 3. Switch to edit mode. Add 7 loop cuts with Ctrl plus R. Bevel it with Ctrl plus B. Select the edges as shown and go to Select Checker Deselect. Scale it with S plus X. Add 1 vertical loop with Ctrl plus R. Move to G plus Y. Change view to front orthographic with one on the numpad. Select edges as shown and scale them with S plus X. Select edges again as shown and scale them with S plus X. Change the view to the right orthographic view with numpad 3. Move it down with G plus Z and scale it with S if necessary. Switch to edit mode. Turn on proportional editing with O. Select all with A. Rotate it with R. Select the edge and move it with G. Select all with A and right mouse button and choose shrink fatten if you think that the tentacles are too wide. Adjust more if needed until you are satisfied. Duplicate tentacles with Shift plus D as many times as you want and move them rotate them as you like the best. Now go to Render Properties and switch from Render Engine EV to Cyclist. Also, if you have a good graphics card, you can switch from CPU to GPU. Turn on the viewport denoise to get rid of the noise and make things easier for the eyes. Switch to the Render Mode so we can add lights and materials and see how our jellyfish looks with proper lighting. Select the jellyfish head and click on the material. Place the cursor at the corner of the viewport until you see a little plus sign appear. Just pull it down to the left while holding the left mouse click. Click New. Open the shader editor in the window you just created. Add shader, mix shader and put it between principal BSDF and material output. Connect shader from mix shader node with emission from emission node. Connect factor from mix shader node with ease reflection rate from light path node. Open transmission in the principal BSDF node and put weight to 1. Change roughness to around 0.1. Change uh, index of refraction to 1.3. Change the color in emission to whatever color you would like your jellyfish to be. Change strength to round 2. Change the weight in the sheen part in the principal BSDF nodes to 1 and roughness to around 0.2. Change the tint to color that you like. Go to modifiers and modifier generate solidify. Select longer tentacles. Click on the material and select the material that you already choose for a head. Do the same for shorter tentacles. Click on this part and also choose the same material. This time click on the number 4, which shows how many materials are currently on other parts. So if you change it, it will change on other parts too. We don't want that, so click on that number to disconnect that material and you can change it independently of other parts. Change emission strength to around 100. Change roughness to around 0.5. Change the base color to color you want. 
select shorter tentacles. Go to modifiers, add modifier, generate solidify. Add camera. Click on camera icon. You can change the sphere resolution to 1024 by 1024, 1920 by 1080 or whatever else fits your needs. Change render settings, max samples to something less than 4096 because you don't need that many samples for this simple scene. Go to view and turn on camera to view. Now you can adjust the camera distance by scrolling up or down and rotating the view by pressing down the mouse wheel. If you want to move the entire camera, hold shift, press the mouse wheel and move it around. Adjust the camera until you are satisfied. Switch from object shader type to world shader type. Connect color from the background node with color from the color ramp node. Connect factor from color ramp node with color from gradient texture node. Connect vector from gradient texture node with vector from mapping node. Connect vector from mapping node with generated from texture coordinated node. Change the location of text in mapping to around 0.2. Change the rotation of Y in mapping to 90 degrees. Change the second pointer color in color ramp from white to blue. Click render if you are satisfied. That is it. Now we know how to model and texture jellyfish in Blender. If you enjoyed learning Blender with me, consider subscribing. Bye! See you next time!